ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਕਰਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਆਏ ਹੋਏ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਹੈਰਿਸਨ ਫੈਸਟੀਵਲ ਆਫ ਦ ਆਰਟਸ ਤੋਂ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਫੈਸਟੀਵਲ ਜੁਲਾਈ 8 ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ 16 ਤਰੀਕ ਤੱਕ ਕਰਵਾਇਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਇਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਆ ਬ੍ਰਾਇਨ ਕਟਲਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਮਾਰਕੀਟਿੰਗ ਮੈਨੇਜਰ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਫੈਸਟੀਵਲ ਦੇ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਆਏ ਥੈਂਕਸ ਫॉर ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਪਲੇਜ਼ਰ ਸੋ ਫੈਸਟੀਵਲ ਆਫ ਦ ਆਰਟਸ ਹੈਰਿਸਨ ਫੈਸਟੀਵਲ ਆਫ ਦ ਆਰਟਸ ਯੈਸ so it's organized every year what is the tradition behind it T- tell us a little bit about that well we uh we're a small arts festival out in Harrison Hot Springs uh this will be our 39th year wow. it's one of the longest running festivals in Canada mm-hmm. and it's uh nationally and internationally recognized as a uh as a really well renowned and uh performing arts and visual arts festival so mm-hmm. So especially this year we are celebrating 150th year of Canada's independence. So yes. is there any specific theme which you have selected for this? Yeah, actually all of our shows which happen uh, at in the evenings in our Memorial Hall, our, our principal venue. Um, right. Uh, every single artist is Canadian. Mm-hmm. And we we've tried to pick artists from across, uh, you know, the whole span of Canada. So we have artists from BC out from out east, uh, up north and yeah, all over in the prairie. So 39 years is a long period. It's a very long time, yeah. So, tell us a little bit about how this festival has evolved over the years, you know. Like uh, of course, uh, you know, earlier it must have been small, but now with passage of time it's becoming more and more popular. Well, so, tell us the history of this. Yeah, well, it, it started off as a more of a visual arts festival. Okay. Uh way back in the day and then it just sort of progressed and and it is what it is now. Like we've had really good programming and we've been able to get many grants and and uh find many sponsors over the years. So it's just it's grown in in popularity and uh what we liked what we really appreciate about the festival and how it stayed is that we we maintain that intimacy with with uh, our audience. So oh, right. we're not looking to expand to a to a huge area where you know you're fighting big crowds and anything. We like to keep it small and right. keep it intimate and yeah. And what's been the response in the previous years? It's been great. I mean, you you can't really run a festival for 39 years without having a good <laughs> response. So, yeah, we're really proud and the the community really rallies behind us and right. uh and uh yeah, we get tourists from uh from all over Canada th- to come right. out and just check out the festival. So. And again, you know, uh, when we talk about arts, visual arts, it's uh, very diverse. So, mm-hmm. how do you try to kind of uh, specifically target the audience what you have and also uh, this year specifically what all is happening? Well, what we try to do with our with her programming is we don't try to pick um programming that suits what would sell the best. Mm-hmm. We try to pick, you know, artists that are new and exciting and that we want to highlight, you know. And um yeah, this year like our our lineup is very diverse. We have Celtic acts, we have um we have acts from, uh, you know, South South America, mm-hmm. you know, all over the place and um we have a Brazilian artist this year which uh, we're he's like the the premier cavaquinho artist uh, in okay. the world so okay. we're excited to have him and yeah so yeah. so it's starting on July the 8th July 8th yeah so it will run till July 16th mm-hmm. so what is the duration is it going to be an open air theater or is it uh, some theater where it will be organized what yeah. is the venue okay so it's over a series of different venues we have our long beach area which on the weekends uh, mm-hmm. we set up an art market so we have uh, 40 to 50 uh, artists and vendors that come out and and sell their handcrafted um um works of art and so on. Right. We have a uh, a Ranger Station art gallery which uh, holds an art exhibit that's runs through the uh, the entire 9 days. Okay. Um we have our free beach stage which is actually one of the co- the coolest things of our festival is that we mm-hmm. offer free programming to the public. You okay. know, we go around and we sell $2 buttons right. as a as a thank you and uh, and as a souvenir but um mm-hmm. you know that's that's open to the public and that happens every day of the festival mostly right. on weekends we have four to um three to four acts right. each day and then one act um during the week okay and then uh, our main um our concert venue is in the Harrison Memorial Hall mm-hmm. so that seats about 230 people give okay. or take mm-hmm. and uh that's where our evening concerts happen on Tuesday night we have um a theater night uh where we uh we present a play mm-hmm. and then uh on Monday night we have our literary cafe so we have literary readings and this year we have the the summer of love is our theme uh and it's a book with all BC writers so okay. staying with the Canada 150 so, so. run uh, do the people only from Harrison come or do you find people from all across coming over mm-hmm. and enjoying these shows we find like our a lot of people from Harrison that's a, that's a big demographic yeah. but we we draw from a lot of Vancouver and and the Fraser Valley right uh, but we also get people from across Canada that come mm-hmm. out yeah you know they're on a road trip and they they want to stop by <laughs> and and check it out they've heard a lot about it so oh, right 
Yeah. As demographics are changing, you know, lots of different diverse uh, communities have uh, started coming into uh, the Vancouver area. Mm -hmm. So in this uh, festival which you organize, do you also try to keep this in mind that diversity of which we are proud of also is inclusive and uh, your, uh, you know, programs uh, cater to those? That's, that's in our mandate. Okay. That's, that's exactly what we do. So we've always had a very diverse uh, programming lineup and right. yeah, we'd like to... Uh, we like to promote that. And so as you said, like this year it's uh, South African, uh, you know, uh, drummers or South African artists coming forward and uh, from other, uh, you know, places also who are going to come over here and uh, show their talent to the public. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we get artists from around the world. Right. Um, you know, the majority of our artists are Canadian, but they have a, an international background. So, right. you know. So, Brian, how long you have been associated with this organization? I've been with the festival for about 10 years. Oh, I started. Wow. that's I, a long period. It again. is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I've been um, in production for, for right. many years. Okay. And then uh, last year I switched over into the marketing and administrative uh, right. position. So now I do a lot of the promotion. And, okay. And what is your opinion about our youngsters? How, how much are they involved in this visual arts and arts uh, you know, category? And do they also show some interest in this? Or it's just the elderly people only who come and enjoy this? It's not just the elderly people, that, right. although that is a, a large uh, market for us. But, okay. uh, we, you know, there's always young people out there and they're always eager and their their work is incredible. Right. So we always like to get young people out and, and involved and, mm -hmm. you know, either volunteering or a part of the festival. Or we find that a lot of our vendors now are, are, are very young. And okay. Yeah, so. That's great. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, if anybody wants to be a part of this, uh, wants to uh, come over there and uh, have some, uh, you know, presentation or uh, wants to be a part of this, what is the procedure for that? You can visit our website. Uh -huh. um, you can contact, uh, you know, us, uh, the staff and through our info at harrisonfestival.com. And uh, what's your website? Harrisonfestival.com. Great. It was yeah. a pleasure talking to you, Brian. Yeah. Thank you very much and best wishes. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Yeah. So, जो ऐसी गलबात की थी उस दिन जो ब्रायन जो सारे मेहमान ने हैरिसन हॉट स्प्रिंग्स तो ये आए नहीं थे अते उत्थे ये फेस्टिवल 8 जुलाई तो लेके 16 जुलाई तक होएगा जिस वजह के आर्ट्स कल्चर नो डिफेक्ट की ता जाएगा सब नो खुला सदा एक फ्री इवेंट है गए अते होर जानकारी जो है तुसी ना दे वेबसाइट दे जाके � उस दे विच तुसी भी आके इस दे हिस्सा बनो अते इस दे विच ए मुफ्त जो इवेंट्स ने इन दा बेनिफिट लो